In this Illustrator tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use the Pathfinder tool to create knocked out text to create a transparent effect like this. So the first thing you want to do is start out with a blank document and create your text. So use the text tool in the, in the toolbar or T on the keyboard and type out your text. I'm going to stick with the California example as I used before. Second thing you want to do is draw your rectangle. So grab the rectangle tool or whatever shape you're looking for. Um, in this instance, I'm just following what I did in this example over here. And make it whatever color you like. Say you're looking for some sort of pink color. And then place your text over top of the rectangle. By default, it's going to be behind the rectangle. So just go to Object, Arrange, Bring to Front. These shortcuts are also really awesome to memorize. It's definitely something you should do. Now, if you click back on the rectangle, you can see that it has anchor points around it. And when you click on the text, it's just a bounding box, and it's still editable. You can still type in there if you double click, but that's not something you want. So you want to create outlines for the text, just like you have outlines around the rectangle. And to do that, you need to go to Type, Create Outlines. So if you click A, or the Direct Selection tool, you can see the font is now, the text is now outlined. And you can click on any of these individual points and manipulate them, which is exactly what you want. So now you want to click on your text and scale it, holding shift to maintain proportions, and get it perfectly centered in this rectangle. And the way to do that is just select them both, click on the rectangle, rectangle again, and go up to this panel up here and click horizontal line center and vertically line center. So that gets perfectly inside of this pink rectangle. Deselect all of that, select them both, and in the Pathfinder panel, click minus front. And there you go, it's as simple as that. So now you can take this, change the color back to white if you were to do the example that I'm doing over here, drag it over onto the image, and just reduce the opacity a little bit. Oh, where was I? Somewhere around 88 or so. And there you go, that's exactly how you do it. And you can do this to any kind of shape as long as it's outlined. And it's as simple as that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.